Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We just got back from Disney World last night. We went to Japan at Epcot and spent a lot of time while we were there, which is one of Brett's favorite pavilions. And we got a bunch of treats from there. We got a bunch of snacks and candies. And so today we're doing a haul of all those things that we got, but we're also gonna do a taste test of all of them. And we got all these in the Michikoshi store at Epcot. And we have been told that it was the only Michikoshi store that was outside of Japan but someone else told me that there's actually another one in the United States. I think in like New York or something, but for the longest time I know that this is the only one in the United States or anywhere outside of Japan itself, the actual country, not just in the pavilion. But it's a gigantic store. When you walk in the store, it's almost overwhelming because they have so much stuff. But in the front is just merchandise. That's where you can go to do like a pick a pearl. They have that in there. And then you keep walking and it's like the store never ends. I mean, there's a ton of stuff in there. But my favorite part of the store is in the very, very back to the left. And it's where they have all of their snacks and they have all their chopsticks. Last time we wanted to pick up some of the stuff, but we were nervous because we can't read any of it. <laughs> a lot of it doesn't tell you what it is, doesn't describe it or anything like that. Yeah. So a lot of this is pretty much shot in the dark. We're going by the pictures. But we did ask um, one of the girls that was in there that was working in the Japan Pavilion what she liked. And we asked her and she said that she liked our first first thing that we picked up was these drinks. I don't remember what they called. I think they start with like an S. I was periscoping in there and somebody told us to pick these up, but it doesn't have the name on there anywhere we've looked. So if you know what these are called, if you are the one that told me this in the periscope, I can't remember. Please let me know in the comments below because it doesn't say it anywhere on here. I did ask the girl at the Japan Pavilion and she said that these were her, one of her favorite things. So we picked them up in raspberry. I'll hand them to you. Raspberry. Lychee, she said that this was like a fruity, a fruity kind. And we had no idea what that was before no she told us. No idea what that is. Um, we got mango and we got blue Hawaii. This one looks good. I bet I like that. She said that was her favorite, second favorite one. She liked the lychee, blue Hawaii, and the coconut one were all her favorite ones. So she's kind of, I guess, she likes that just real beachy flavors. Yeah. This is probably going to be my favorite and it was the peach one. So do you want to try all of these or do you want to just try a couple? Might as well try them all. Okay. And we'll, just, try them all? we'll just say them if we, you know. Okay. I think we're going to need something to wash stuff down with though, just in case some of these aren't very good. I'm going to go ahead and try the peach one. They come sealed and these are in a glass bottle, but if you get these and you are flying back home, they do wrap these up very, very well. Okay, that's neat. I don't, I don't know if that's for, but it's like green top that's on it. Maybe this screws off and that goes on there or something. I don't know. How do you get into this? They have instructions. Okay, that goes on top of the bottle, it says. This. Uh-huh. I'm confused. It says remove the seal, detach the plunger, place the plunger on top of the bottle, press down firmly with the base of your palm and release the marble. Throw away the seal, cap, and plunger. Have fun drinking. Oh, okay, let's see. So you do that and then you pop this green part out. Then you stick this on top of here. The box right here. Stick it on. I'm nervous. Ooh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry about this made like the ugliest face in mankind, but holy mess, that was, okay, look, and it's got like a little. It's like the old, old school stuff. Wow, that was cool, huh? <laughs> okay, so I think we're just gonna try two of these because that's a lot of work. So we're just gonna try the two ones that we wanted the most and is the peach one, and which one is that? You wanna try the blue Hawaii? Is that the one you wanna try? Yeah. Okay, so we've got these two, and it has, that's so neat, it's got this. <laughs> You're just throwing it on the ground. This is the neatest drink I've ever seen. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try mine. Okay. Jared's still just working on his. I want you to be the guinea pig first. He's popping in. Makes me nervous. Woo! Ready? <laughs> well, <laughs> give it another try. <laughs> different it's different it's like those like peach drinks that you can get like just in the United States that are just I guess like the Fanta peach drinks mm -hmm. or one of those that uh, Neha yeah. drinks it's kind of like that this kind of tastes like a melted 
the peachos, like the little ring peachos, you know they have more of a peachier flavor instead of a... Artificial flavor. Yeah, yeah, this is what this tastes like. But it's good, it's just different. It's different than what I was expecting, but I love this bottle. I'm not gonna throw this away. All right, my turn. Boys of Hawaii, here we go. It says shoo, 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 shoo. It's pretty good. It don't, don't have as much as much flavor as I expected it to. Yeah, mine doesn't either. It's very mild. Let's see what you think. It's pretty good though. You don't like it. It tastes like carbonated water. <laughs> Ew. It's like it would be really good if it had more, more flavor. flavor. And these are $2.99 each, so they're not that bad. And when you got get these at Disney, if you're flying back, they do wrap these up they and they wrap them thing. up like big time and they put them in a box for you um, and they send them to the front of the park so you don't have to carry them around with you if you're gonna fly back with them. And they're, so they're sealed and good for you to go on flying so that they don't like bust. But I seriously, there's no way that those could like bust or leak <laughs> because they are like hardcore yeah, like a, sealed. So we've got those two drinks, we've got them, we can wash them down. Okay. Let me go on to the chips first. Yes. Because I already have, I had to open these. I have all this stuff. Why, that's why I keep looking over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have everything sitting in a chair right here. Okay, so I had these and I actually had to go ahead and like kind of tear these open to get some, because these were like, <laughs> um, to get them in our carry-on and stuff like that. Because so I could roll them up and it wouldn't take up as much space. The first chip that we're going to try is whatever this is. Mm, you know Japanese? Tell me what it is. I don't know what it is. It just looks like barbecue flavored like Cheetos. Oakley! Sorry, Mom. I don't like Donald. Okay, so we got the barbecue Cheeto things. Do you want to go first? Yeah. I'm really nervous to try new things, so I'm going to let Jared do pretty much all of the new things. These were $3.99, if you were wondering. <sighs> Strong. Yeah, they don't smell good. They don't smell good at all. Is there any description of what these are on them in English, like anywhere at all? It just says corn snack. <laughs> because they, they have to like add this sticker. Can you see that? It's like a sticker. They stick on the back of it in English so you can read what the ingredients are and things like that. Just in case I guess you're allergic to stuff. And the allergy information. Here we go. So they look like a, like a Cheeto. They look just like a Cheeto, just with no color. Not bad. Another one? Yeah, just to be sure. <laughs> you like them? Let's see. Usually when he likes stuff, I don't like them. So let's see. Those taste like something I've had before. They do taste similar. I couldn't figure it out either. They're not bad. They taste good though. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad, are they? They're like sweet. I've had something with the same type of like flavoring on them. They're good though. I like these. I would buy these again. What would you give these? Out of a ten. Out of ten, about a seven or eight. Yeah, I'd say about a seven. These are pretty good. For the bottle, I would almost give it a 10, but for <laughs> flavor, like packaging, definitely a 10, because it's so cool. But for these, for the flavor, I think I would give these like a five, because they would be really good if they just had more flavor. They don't, they're so watery. It's like they're watered down. It's kind of like Kool-Aid when you put just a lot of water in Kool-Aid. Yeah, I like that. So the next chip that we got, this is the last chip, and the rest of it is pretty much candy. Um, it's the rest of it is all candy. <laughs> these just look like um, hot chili ruffles, is what this is. It's it's like the ruffle chips, the same thing. It just says hot chili, and again, these don't smell very good. So <laughs> we'll see. It says rich cut. I guess that's what they call it in Japan. Am I supposed to hit you with this? Yeah, you're about to cut me in the eye. I felt like. <laughs> okay, I'll get my little bitty one. You go first this time. Okay, let's see. I have a little bitty one. I'm not very good at trying new things. So, let's see. They don't have really any flavor. Do they? Maybe I need a bigger chip or something. 
Towards the end, mine did. They're not bad. I like them. They don't taste bad, they just don't have a lot of flavor. And I don't want it towards the end. I want to eat the chip and have flavor the whole time. <laughs> I don't want it like at the end. It's like 50% flavor. What do you think? Um, they're not very spicy. They have like a little kick. And they're not like terribly spicy. I mean, if you are very sensitive to spicy food, I don't even think that these would bug you that much. Yeah. They're definitely, I mean like by this packaging, it, it's like. You'd think your mouth would be on fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're not that bad, but they just, to me, they just don't have a lot of flavor. They could use a lot more like, because the back of it says, Caramucho. Caramucho is a spicy and tasty potato chip with chili powder and other various spices. I don't taste chili powder at all. Like I'm very sensitive to chili powder because I use it a lot, so I can usually taste it. I don't taste chili powder in these at all. <laughs> That's the one like spice they choose to tell you what's in it, but these don't taste like chili powder at all. But they do, they're okay. I think I'd give these about a five. What do you, what would you get? I would say a six. Six? I like the other ones better. But... Yeah, I like the other ones better for sure. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna try are these Pocky. We've seen these in a vlog before. Um, and I think we, we've we seen that one couple TV, they're, they're just, Bloggers, they do Disney stuff and other stuff, and they did a Japanese taste test, and I think their friend sent them some stuff, and they sent them these, and they really liked these. So let's see. I'm excited about these because they're cookies and cream. They are cookies and cream covered biscuit sticks, is what these are. They're just basically like the Pringles, like pizza sticks and things like that. It's basically the same exact thing except it's a little biscuit and it's just dipped in like white chocolate with crumbled cookies, like cook cookies. Cookies, cookies. And they come in this neat, I like this little box. So you can like, not steal it, but close it back up. Mm, they look like sparklers. <laughs> like firework sparklers. Ready? Mm -hmm. Look at these little they biscuits. They smell good. Feel funny. Ooh, they do smell good. They smell like Hershey's cookies and cream drops. Yeah, mm. three, two, one. Mmm. These are good. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> these are really good. I like these a lot. I'll give these a 10 out of 10, for sure. And another one. Pretty sure I can take that whole box down at one time, mm -hmm. too. <laughs> they're really soft. Like, they, they're not, like, crunchy. Like, you would think about this stick, it's yeah. very, like, hard. You would think they would be tougher. I was thinking that But they're thing. very, like, soft. Yeah. And the chocolate's really good, but it's not, I'm, I don't, I'm not like chocolate. I know I'm like the only girl on face of the planet that doesn't like chocolate. I like it. That's okay, because I always get to eat chocolate. I don't have to I share with you. I like those a lot. Okay, so the Pockies are for you. Uh, a nine. I give them a 10 because I like those and I don't really like chocolate and I like those, so that's definitely a winner for me. <laughs> All right, the next thing is what I'm really excited about trying because these are pretty much just for me because Bernie doesn't like chocolate. So these are, it says Cuckoo Patisserie. At least that's the best way I could pronounce this. Um, it says they're chocolate and coffee in a perfect harmony, exceptional and incomparable delicacy. You almost didn't get these. You were standing in the checkout line. I was still browsing. I don't like to stand in the checkout line because I don't like to stand still that long. So I go mosey while Jared's checking always. out. And I found these and I was like, oh yes, he'll love these. And he flipped out when he saw these. He was so, like, yes, give me those. So they're apparently like a coffee, chocolate, toffee type of I guess so. thing. I guess so. For the same texture as the Werther's. Oh, I can smell it over here. Did you just bite into it? I thought it was going to be softer than it is. So it tastes just like coffee. So it's like a coffee candy. Mm -hmm. You taste, does it kind of taste like a mocha? Mm-hmm, it does. Because that's what usually, like chocolate and coffee usually makes like the mocha drinks. I'm gonna pass on these because I'm pretty much know I'm not gonna like these. How did you not feel that? No, that's gonna be hard. I'd give these probably an eight out of 10. They're pretty good and they they taste exactly like what they say on the package. 
That's good. And yeah. it's, I like the packaging because it tells you what it is. Yeah. You don't have to like guess. Guessing, that's kind of fun too. But if you're at Disney World, you have a set budget and you don't want to waste your money on things that you yeah. don't know what they are um, <laughs> and something that you won't like. So it's fun to be surprised, but it's also fun to not waste your money on gross food. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to pass on these because I don't do like chocolate and I don't really like coffee. I'm not, I like sweets and sours. I don't like. But they have a very strong coffee flavor to them. I do. So you wouldn't like them. But you do like them? But I do, yes. You'd buy them again? I would. The next thing we got was basically for me, and it is a hard candy. It has no English on it, no clue what it is. Um, it just says candy <laughs> in English. Yep, and it has the ingredients on the back. Another one of those like little sticker things. They've got to stick on stuff for allergy reasons and, and things like that. And just the nutritional facts. Um, but it's just a hard candy and it's pomegranate flavored, which I'm super excited because I love pomegranate. It's my favorite fruit. So let's see. Oh good, this one has, it's the first one we've had that has like this resealable bag, which I like that, so they don't go everywhere. Is that a hard candy too? I think it's a hard candy, yeah. Man, so you can smell it inside of here. Oh wow, that smells like pomegranate. Yeah, it does. Good job. Let's see. They come in on one of those little things like this. It's just this little square hard candy and it's really cute. I think I've had another candy that kind of looks like this. So, let's see. Mmm. I like those already. Definitely 10 out of 10. That didn't take very long. <laughs> those are delicious. You want to try one? Sure. Mmm. Oh wait. Okay, 9 out of 10. I just deducted a point. Kind of tastes cough syrupy. Yep, kind of tastes cough syrupy. <laughs> if you didn't know that this was candy, you might think that this was like a fruity flavored cough drop. Yeah. Honestly. But it is good. I mean, I like it. It kind of has like a cool hint to it. Like once you put it in there and you like leave it in there for a little bit, it kind of has like a cool kick. Kind of like those, like the Hall's fruit infusion type cough drops. How they have that burst of cool to them. These are like that, but these are really, really good. I wonder if that's what it's supposed to be because right here it says like 100 milligrams, like maybe like for like vitamin C or something. Maybe that's it. It's a Kuro. It's a Kuro candy? Does anybody know what any of this means? <laughs> anyway, is this a cough drop? Did I buy a cough drop but I'm not coughing? It is vitamin C. On the ingredients, the third ingredient is vitamin C. So that would be really cool if you feel bad or you're starting to get kind of sick at Disney World, run in there and pick up these pomegranate candies and then I'll give you a boost of vitamin C. It's got 100 milligrams in them. I wish I would have known that while A we vitamin C, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of cool though. I knew it tasted something kind of like a cough droppy yeah. medicine -y, but they're good. It tastes a lot better than a cough drop normally does. Yeah. I don't think these are actually for coughing, but I really like these. I'm gonna save these for like days when I feel bad or I'm getting a little head cold or anything like that and I just want something to snack on that's not gonna make me feel worse because a lot of times when you're sick or you don't feel good, if you snack on things that are bad for you, it makes you feel even worse. So I'm gonna save these and I'm gonna use these for days like that when I want candy but I want something that's not gonna make me feel worse. I'm gonna save these and that's gonna be good. I really like these. I do too. A 9 out of 10 just because if you didn't accidentally see the 100 milligram or you didn't read the ingredients, you would know like us, I just picked it up because it looked like hard pomegranate candy. Kind of deceiving, but good. It was a good surprise. So nine out of 10, what would you give it? I give it a nine too. Like this. All right, the next thing is like a big package of different uh, gummy candies. There's three different flavors in here. It says that these are Kazuke. Look, like we're gonna do this with everything. It says it's a, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but it, it's just described as like mixed fruit gummy candies and apple, muscat, and grape. Never had a muscat before. Never had it a muscat. Sounds like a wrap to me. <laughs> but I know it's some type of fruit. You actually picked up the grape ones because you wanted the grape ones, and yeah. then we found this multi pack one just in case we didn't li like the grape ones, we would have other options. So, which one are you going to try? The grape one? I want to try them all, but I'll try grape first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Grape's usually my favorite and everything, so we'll see. Oh yeah, they're a little gummy. Here we go. So here's the grape. Okay, <laughs> these kind of look like those little... 
They look like life saver gummies. With no circle in the middle. <laughs> Mm, texture, I don't like the texture. Okay. They're pretty good. Not you have to get used to the texture. Texture doesn't bother me, so that's... I'm a texture person, and they're like extra gummy. They're a little bit more mushier than like Lifesavers are, but, and they're bigger, so it's like a whole lot of gummy at one time, versus just a little bit of gummy. Yeah. And I couldn't really taste the flavor of it until kind of towards the end. Let's let's try a different flavor. It's a very different flavor. It's still pretty good. You like the must? I keep wanting to call it a muskrat. <laughs> Overall, I think I'd give them a six. Yeah, probably the same. <laughs> six or a seven. They're fun. They're more. They're kind of interesting. They're to just. Eat. They're different. So they're I would different. give them. A, I think I would give them a seven. I don't. I might would buy those again, but I would definitely go to the other things before I bought those yeah. again. Those would be fun just to kind of snack on, but I don't think I would ever be like sitting around and be like, hmm, I really want some of those going. Okay, so the next two things that we picked up were things that I picked out. We found these in the spot that has kind of like all the gummies around them and they were sitting on the very top. And it's the only thing in there that has nearly all English on it. <laughs> Actually, it is all English. And it just says product of Japan on the back. Pure. Puree, pure, puree. It's got the little asterisk above the E, so I don't know if that's supposed to make it say puree, puree. I'm just gonna call it pure. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore the asterisk. So we got juicy strawberry flavor. It says juicy strawberry flavor. And then the next one is juicy peach flavor. So I'm gonna try the peach one because I usually like peach stuff. And these are fat free, gluten free, vitamin C, and collagen. I like these because they clearly say what they are. Vitamin C. Tell you what they are. Things like that. And I like things that are like sugar coated soury. Okay. So they're supposed to make like little hearts. Mmm. I'll give these a 10 out of 10 because these taste very peachy. Let me try one of those. I usually like peach. And they actually, I really like the peachos, like the little rings that are kind of like this. But these aren't as chewy as those, and I like those because I have to chew on those forever, and these have a better flavor. Sour rings. I thought this one was more sour than the strawberry. <laughs> these are really good. Definitely a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Is that what you said? So think? these taste just, to me, are like a peacho, but they have more flavor. And they're cheer. So yeah, easier sour, to eat. More sour. They're like smaller, so they're easier to eat. Yeah. Definitely like these. I would, I am, I know I am <laughs> gonna buy some more of these when we go back to Disney. I love these. These, these are, are really so good. good. Which ones do you like better, the peach ones or the strawberry? I like the peach better. Everything so far has been under $5, which was awesome. There's not a lot at Disney that you can buy that's under five bucks. All right, so the last thing we got are all the same things, except we just got different flavors. And we got the high chews because Ooh. everybody talks about these. <laughs> everybody says like these are the best like Japanese candy that you can get. If this is the one candy I went in there and I knew about because yeah. everybody talks about these. And so I was like, let's get them on every So we got a bunch of different flavors. We got, this one's mango. Um, um, we got cherry, green apple, grape, and strawberry. I wanna try the mango one first. Which one do you wanna try first? Try the green apple first. Here it goes. I have high expectations of these because everybody talks about these, but while we were picking them out, this girl was talking about how much she hated these. So either I guess you like them and you hate them. Oh, they're softer than I thought they were gonna be. And they're just <laughs> cute little, they smell they really exactly good. The same. Okay, good. They don't have very much artificial flavor in them. Does it say no artificial flavor? I don't know. Naturally and artificially flavored. Here we go. Oops. So they're all the same. Oh, wow, mm. it's stuck on my teeth. They're all the same color. Okay. I'll have a, oh. Oh. No. Taste or texture? Taste. The mango one is not good. I do not like the mango one. So I'm gonna jump to the strawberry one and just see. Hopefully it's different. I really like the green apple one. There's a, there's like a chewing gum or a bubble gum that's green apple that this tastes identical to. It's really? just in a fruit chew instead of a Okay, so gum. this one is a little bit different. It has like a pinker center than the other two. So the outside is the same color, but the inside is like color to whatever flavor it is. Nope. 
<laughs> okay, wait. Hey, look, smell how grapey that smells. <laughs> okay. So the strawberry one is better than a mango one, but it's still not my favorite. Um, I definitely I give these like a three out of ten. I don't think I would buy these again because there's a ton of like these types of candies that I could get instead of these that are so much better. These I don't. I'm not on the bandwagon with these. I don't like these. I like the grape ones too. But for each of these, I would probably only give them a five. Really? Yeah. I give them a three because I had really high expectations because everybody talked about how good they were. I had to spit the mango one out. You want to try the cherry just to say you did? Just say we've done them all. I usually um, like cherry stuff. Mm, I don't know if I'm going with this one. So this one's pink on the outside and white on the inside. Usually they were white on the outside and like orange for mango, pink for strawberry on the inside. Just not your candy, huh? Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. These are not as good as everybody said they were to me. To you, they're okay. They're okay to me, yeah. yeah. I don't know. That, I don't think when we went back, I'd be like, oh my gosh, let's get some of those. I will not uh, be buying these again. This is the <laughs> this is the thing I think that I like the least out of everything. And this was the thing I was expecting to like the most. We got all this stuff again at the Michikoshi. I always tongue tie when I say that Michikoshi um, store in Japan in Epcot, and we. We liked a lot of it. There was only a couple of things we didn't like, or we probably wouldn't buy again. Yeah. Probably wouldn't buy those sodas again, just because they both have no flavor. The ones two that we tried, definitely wouldn't buy the hot shoes again. But everything else, I would definitely get again. Do you say? Yes. Maybe not the chili chips, because they didn't have enough flavor to me. <laughs> the other chips, the pockies, those pure purees, all those, I think you'll definitely buy again. Alright guys, that's it for our Japanese food snack haul. Uh, we hope you really liked it. It was really fun for us to be able to try different snacks from a different culture. If you know any other snacks from the Japan Pavilion or the Michikoshi store, please leave them in the comments below. Next time we go back, we would love to get more stuff to bring back home to try. We've never done a video like this on our channel. It was super fun to do like a taste test. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because our vlogs from our last trip which it just ended yesterday will be going up starting sometime in september we can't wait to get those up can't wait to rewatch our memories no. do stuff like that we had a great great trip met some really awesome people that we were so happy to meet and so excited to meet um got to experience a lot of new things on this trip it was that fun we, didn't we checked a bunch off of our bucket list so if you want to see those make sure that you're subscribed so you'll be up to date on those things thanks again for watching and we'll see you next monday bye, bye.